The La Palma volcanic eruption is now the longest seen on the island in 375 years. Now, we predicted this volcano would stop erupting about a week ago, and it's still going. And we think that it's going to end soon, and we're going to show you why. Now, the new volcano fissure located on the Canary Islands archipelago off of northwestern Africa has been active for 68 days now, exceeding the duration of the Fuen Caliente eruption back in 1677. This is a depiction, a fantastic depiction of that eruption. And it was painted a decade after using historical accounts. And this is the painting from 1678. And it's showing houses in the air on fire, burning boulders, burning houses on the ground, and many lava streams between the two mountains in Todoke that we already know. Almost identical to the current eruption in La Palma, which is why it is now has exceeded the same amount of days. Now, if we look at the eruptive history of La Palma, the way that I calculated my duration was simply to take all of the historical numbers of eruptions that we know, the 1585, 84 day, Tahoya, the 82 day, Martin or Pigalate volcano eruption. We have a 66 day, a 56 day, a 47 and a 24. And I added them up and averaged them and you get around 60. But what it appears as if that we're probably approaching uh, a similar eruption to Tahoya. And I'll show you why. Now Tahoya lasted 84 days and currently we're at 68. So that means that the volcano has the potential to erupt for about two more weeks based on the maximum length of eruption in recorded history. Now, if we come over here to the geologic map of the historic eruptions, you can see the 1585 Tahoya right here. And that's quite spectacular. And it's very similar to the place of the current eruption and very similar in scale and scope with about three tongues, a huge area reaching the water, very similar to the current eruption. So based on that data, La Palma could erupt for potentially another 16 days or less. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think it would exceed this based on all historical eruptions, but the average is, take a look at it, 84-day eruption in 1585, 66 the Fuen Caliente in 1677, and 56-day, another 66. Oh, we just had that one. <laughs> 47. So the, the likelihood is above 50s. 50s and 60s is average. 82, uh, 84 is a max. And that's just based on all historical eruptions. Now the eruption itself has been recategorized at VEI3, but that doesn't have to do with it increasing in strength. The strength of this volcano happened uh, over a month ago when uh, the eruption was, was at its maximum. It was fountaining thousands of feet into the sky. So that's far from over. VEI-3 upgrade is because of the volume of gases, ash, and lava output. And yesterday there was a flurry of activity at the volcano, but nothing quite significant. It was short-lived. And if we come over to check out the seismicity at La Palma, there has been only... Only around 50 quakes in 24 hours, the largest being a 3.5. And that translates at depth to very low seismic activity for over a week, dropping down to almost nothing in the last 24 hours. Seismicity as well remains extremely low, except for this super spike, which had to do with that flurry of activity the other evening, and is still dropping down. Ground is subsiding as well. And if you come over to the live stream, there's very little happening at the main vent. A new vent opened up lower. And that could just be more opportunity to get rid of all the existing magma in the system. As you can see, there's very little pressure left. 
Very little outgassing currently tonight. So, based on all information and historical uh, documentation that we just went over, this volcano is getting quiet. And it's based on historical information, just like this picture back in 1687. Hope you got something out of the video. La Palma may have very few days left. And that's good news for people on the island. They have a lot to rebuild. Thankfully, it's just a mimic of historical eruptions, which happen about every 100 years or so. That's a boom to knowledge. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And be safe. We love you.